A basketball teams from across Missouri are battling to become the Show Me Showdown Tournament champions. But for the Salisbury School District, their game against Hartville is serving a bigger purpose. The team's starter suddenly passed away earlier this week. Color 10 Sydney Miranda is live at Hammond Student Center, sharing how that district is honoring their teammate tonight. Sydney. Well, Mike, there is good news. Salisbury actually won against Hartville. They made 20 points in the fourth quarter, and that number is significant because it's the number London White wore. The team had his jersey on the bench, but in the stands, there were purple shirts with not only White's name and number, but also the hashtag LLL, which stands for Live Love London. And students I talked to earlier say that's something his grandma said at the vigil that they had at the high school on Tuesday. Now the school says White died at the Moberly Regional Medical Center after the district shared the tragic news. There were questions about the state basketball final four game. The school met with White's family who shared their support for the team. Salisbury shared in a letter to students and parents the Panthers would still compete Friday. Although everyone is super excited about the win, it's still bittersweet. It's just been different at school and everything, going in there. Just... You can just feel it around the halls. Like everyone has their heads down, but I know the guys are ready and they're going to come out here and play and they're going to give it the best. It takes a lot of heart, especially it's nerve wracking playing in a state game and now they're playing with this on their shoulders and they're wanting even more now. The team and community has rallied around. Uh, our surrounding communities have rallied around and they've been very um, gracious and kind and, and a lot of support going out and the boys have really appreciated all the, all the effort. funeral for White is on March 14th. The district will not have school that day. Reporting in Springfield, Sydney Moran, Ozarks First.